that child was still awake. Mm -mm. Do you see what this- Oh! I tried to escape one dog and almost stepped on another dog. Sir, how come Sarah's so beautiful? <laughs> I'm filming a YouTube video. <laughs> I just put my makeup on at 10 p.m. That was really dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning! So I haven't done a tag video in a really long time and I decided I wanted to do the TMI tag because it's fun and I like watching them and I'm gonna try to make sure this is not super, super long. I am wearing a top that I got from Target last year. It is just kind of like lacy and it's a peplum top. I'll show you. So it's a peplum top like this and then I have pajama pants on the bottom and they are Mickey Mouse. I'm also wearing this necklace that is from Forever 21 and my earrings are Marc Jacobs and my husband got them for me for Christmas and I love them. Ding! Yes, um, I'm married so... Ding! <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel terrible about any of my breakups now because they're like way in the past. Um, I mean, I've had breakups that made me really sad. I mean, they all made me really sad, because I hate when things end, but... No, I don't think so. I am 5'4 and a quarter. I don't own a scale, so I'm just gonna have to guess based on what I know about myself in the past. No, it's okay. It's like, it's usually between like 118 and 120. So, something around there. No tattoos. I'm not against them. But I do have a couple that I definitely want at some point, but at this point, I don't have any. So, I, I only have two piercings that are in right now, but I have been pierced nine times. So, I have my earrings that are in right now, I have my double piercings which have closed up, I pierced my cartilage on one side, I guess it was my left, and I got like an alien baby growing on it, so I let that close up. I had my belly button pierced, and then when I was pregnant, it got stretched out and ripped and disgusting. I don't recommend it. And I've had my lip pierced, I had my snake bites, so one, two, and then I did this one a second time, and those are closed up too. So nine total, two still alive. OTP means one true pairing, and I would have to say my one true pairing is Chuck and Blair. Forever. Oh my, of any pairing in the world? Yes. One true pairing, Chuck and Blair. Oh, and Ross and Rachel. Thank you. But they're tied. Okay. Um, I have oh, multiple okay. favorite shows. I'm gonna have to say three. Um, my toppest two, top most two, are Friends and Game of Thrones. And I really can't decide between the two. They are both like, oh, in my heart. And then Gossip Girl, hence the Chuck and Blair reference. Yeah. So, so can you say Friends and Game of Thrones at the same time? From a Thrones. Friends. Gren of Thrones. <laughs> my top two, for sure, for sure, for sure, favorite of all time, three. I have to say three. The Beatles, Pink Floyd, and Radiohead. Done. I miss my brother because he lives in California and my family's always lived in the same state. So it's really sad having him be, be so far away, but I get to go see him this summer, so I'm super excited. Don't even do this to me. There's no, I mean, who can, favorite, okay. Um. I love a song called I Want You by Elvis Costello. Oh, Boys of Summer by um, Don Henley. Why are you rolling your eyes at me? I love that song. Can I point out the irony that neither of those songs are by your three favorite top bands? I know. Because I can't possibly choose. Ooh, All I Need by Radiohead. Ooh, Radiohead, their entire In Rainbows album. Okay, anyway, I could go on forever, so let's not. After I turned 25, I basically just kind of rounded myself up and I was like, all right, I'm 30 now. So I kind of don't even remember my age every year after that, but I'm 27 for sure. My sign is Aries and 
in a lot of ways I think that that is fitting for me. Um, I really put very little stock in kind of the belief of how the zodiac signs work and how that pertains to your personality, but I find that sometimes it does coincide. Honesty. Ooh, I need to pause. Yeah, wait a couple seconds there. <laughs> I was very eager. <laughs> I am so, so devoted to being honest, and I think that honesty is the most important thing in a relationship because what does a relationship have to stand on if there is no trust? We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl? <laughs> I can't pick. Anyway. That's good. Oh, okay. Apparently that's good. It's Pink Floyd lyric. <laughs> Can't do this to me. I, mm, this is really hard. My husband and I are really into movies. I would have to say Philip Seymour Hoffman, but he's no longer acting. Johnny Depp, oh, how cliche is that? But I love Johnny Depp. He can do anything. Who's the, who's the one who I'm always like, he can do anything, literally anything. And always makes me forget. Oh, I do really like Leonardo DiCaprio. My favorite color is black for most things. I also like anything super bright in color, like really vibrant, bright, crazy out there colors. Um, it kind of really depends. For home decor, I like white, everything else black. Okay. Definitely loud music, but I rarely get the chance to listen to loud music because I often have Levi in the car with me and obviously I'm not gonna be like bumping while he's sitting in the back seat getting his ear, 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 his ear drums blown out. Straight to my bed. My bed is like, it's a king size bed and it's like, once you're in it, it feels so big and like cozy and there's so many like pillows and zebra stripes everywhere. It's just the best place ever. I go there all the time, not just when I'm sad. Pfft, I would live in that bed if I could. Kind of depends. I take long showers, let's just put it that way. I don't often get ready in the morning because usually I'm getting up to run Levi to school really quick and then if I have to do something, then I'll get ready after that. Um, but it depends. I can do my makeup like average an hour, but I can do it in like 35 minutes if I have to. I don't even want to talk about my hair because this is what I do with my hair every day. I trained in karate for most of my life growing up, so um, the only physical fights I've been in were like sparring fights and they taught us like never to, they taught us to hope we never had to use like what we learned in karate class, so I hope to never be in a physical fight. Humility. Cockiness. Mm -mm. Oh, or like selfishness. I mean, I guess it's kind of the same thing. like a specific reason, it was more like a feeling. I joined YouTube because I had watched videos for so long and I just really wanted to. I just thought that making videos and talking to people on YouTube and getting to know people in the beauty world looked like amazing fun and looked like what I wanted to do, so I did it. Um, I have many, I'll talk about two really quick. My first most like powerful fear is throwing up. I have not thrown up in 12 years and I cannot handle throwing up in any capacity at all. And then my other fear is the dark. Oh, I cried yesterday because my husband read something that he wrote about me that just, I really felt like it showed that he knew me and he kind of hit the nail on the head and just made me feel really loved and special. <laughs> so it was happy tears, which is good. I say it like a million times a day, like literally. Because usually to Taylor, right, to you, I usually say it on the phone mostly. Oh, that's true. Because like if we're in person, we're just like talking constantly. And But in person, I usually say it to Levi, and I literally say it probably like hundreds of times a day. I say it to him constantly, like almost every time I look at him. I just can't stop, so... It's just my first name and my middle name with some random X's in there. 
This is so bad. I don't even know. I read books, but I never finish them. Um, Doesn't say finish. Oh, okay. Last book that I like read pages out of. The Art of Hearing Heartbeats, but I didn't finish it. So it's good though. Yeah. I'm not a huge book person, if you can't tell. I like the idea of them. I don't have time for them. Last show I watched. Uh, the Adventures of Chuck the Truck with Levi this morning. <laughs> Taylor right now, he's reading the questions to me. <laughs> um, the last person, let me just double check. I think it was my mom, let's see. Yep, last person I texted was my mom and she's my mom. This one is really sad. Hmm. This one sucks. Can I guess? I sure. Mac and cheese. Yeah. And but also cake, really almond, cake. Because I used to absolutely love food, and I would say maybe like my mom's homemade mac and cheese was like my favorite thing of all time. Um, but last year I had to quit all dairy and all gluten, so now I hate food and it's boring and it sucks. Absolutely everywhere. Um, I really want to go to Dubai. Yeah, that's my answer. Does this mean like last place I traveled or like last room I was in? Let's go with the first one. Okay, last place I traveled was California last year to go to Disneyland. Taylor says, <laughs> no, I don't have a crush because I'm married. I have a crush on my husband, but Taylor thinks it's hilarious to joke about the fact that I love Jon Snow. Not Kit Harrington, Jon Snow. Let's not make any Got mistake it. about this. Got it. Anyway. Uh, probably today. Yesterday? Today? I don't know. All the time. <laughs> I have lipstick on. Oh, why, why so violent? I don't know. I'm pretty uninsultable. I really don't take a lot of things personally, and I just kind of... Like, everything slides off of me. I'm, like, made of Teflon. I don't know. I honestly can't remember the last time I was insulted. Chocolate. I don't really like candy or sugar too much. Like, really sweet or fruity things. Only every once in a while. Chocolate. Yes. Dark chocolate. The darker, the better. No milk in it. Chocolate. Drums. Although I haven't played in a long time because we live in an apartment and I can't have my drum set here because we would be kicked out. My favorite piece of jewelry is my wedding ring because I think it's so cool that before we were even engaged, my husband was asking me like, what kind of ring do you want? And all I would ever say is pick something out that reminds you of me and I will love it. And now that I think about it, that was kind of a risky move and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't do that, but he picked out a perfect ring and I absolutely love it. Oh, I guess soccer, indoor soccer. Yeah, that's true, I forgot about that. Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. <laughs> While filming this video. <laughs> this is a dumb question. I hate pickup lines. I don't even know any, honestly. Nope. <laughs> oh, but I did used to, if like, guys were trying to like, hit on me when I was single, I used to like, give them a fake name. So that's like a reverse anti pickup line, right? It's like a stay away from me line, kind of. Um, my friend Katie, because I did her makeup today. Everybody should, because I love to watch these videos and they're so much fun and they're a good way to get to know people. I don't know why I ended up with 49 questions, because I think there are supposed to be 50 and I don't know which one I'm missing. But maybe there's just 49, I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next tutorial. Bye!